A lot of people from the Parks and Recreation Show have been here. Oh, I know. Yeah. <laughs> Not me, though. No. <laughs> uh, well, tell us about yourself, uh, where you're from, and how, to, how did you get into show business? Boy, well, um, I'm Chris Pratt. Um, <laughs> I, I'm from the Pacific Northwest, Was Ooh. Washington State. Oh, it's nice up there, yeah, huh? Yeah, thank you. Yeah, we got some Washington State people. Yeah. One. Sweet. That's two, buddy. What, um, what kind of a guy were you? An, an outdoors guy? A, a biking, hiking, that kind of stuff? Um, you know, I, outdoors guy. Mm -hmm. uh, a lot of fishing, a lot of hunting where I grew up. This town of 7,000 people. Uh, when I left, there was about 7,000 people there. It's grown considerably since then. Um, and uh, I was like a, an outdoors guy. I never really... I did do theater and I did some amateur stand-up comedy, but uh, never really thought I would become... Mm -hmm. A person who had a career in show business. You ended up. You spent some time in Hawaii. What were you doing there? Yeah, I was. I had retired from door-to-door -door sales, and uh, <laughs> I was living the dream. It's surprising <laughs> that you would turn your back on that lucrative career. Yeah, no. <laughs> <laughs> I did. I I, uh, I just gave. I walked away. I mm -hmm. thought, you know, <laughs> I'd given. An, I'd given yeah, enough sure. of myself to so that. What'd you, what'd you do in Hawaii? I. Uh, Took a lot of wet nap showers. I was homeless essentially for a year. I lived in a van with my good buddy Zeb. Mm -hmm. And um, well, what, what's what's Zeb doing now? Oh, uh, he's a fisherman. Yeah. Yeah, he's a fisherman. Is that what you were doing as well? Uh, no, we were both working as waiters at the time. Um, where where did you work? The Bubba Gump Shrimp Company. Yeah. <laughs> nice. Yeah, it's nice. Three stars. Oh yeah. <laughs> at least, at least. <laughs> it's good. It's a good uh -huh. restaurant. Uh, so you're living in the van and working in a seafood restaurant. How long yes, did this go on? About one year, and then I uh, was... Um... The authorities found out. <laughs> they found out, yeah, you're not supposed to camp there. We found the one dirt pile big enough that you couldn't see it from the road, and yeah. we parked on the other side of it. But this, in a way, was your entree to show business, the, the restaurant, right? Yeah, it really was. I waited on a director by the name of Ray Don Chong. She's an actress, mm -hmm. but had, was directing a movie called Cursed Part 3. Mm. And... Um, yeah, thank you. It's really good. Really good. And that was Part my... three of the Cursed Trilogy. The Cursed Trilogy, yeah. Oh. <laughs> and, yeah, that was, um, that was my end. You know, the door wasn't opened for me, but <laughs> it, it was unlocked, and, <laughs> at least. <laughs> and so I, so I put my shoulder yeah. down and tried to barrel through. Uh, now congratulations, you have a four-month-old baby boy, thank is that Yes, sir, is? yes, sir. Good I got you. a baby boy. Yep. What do you think of the guy so far? Oh, God, he, um, I, he is just, he's amazing. I yeah. love him so much. He, he's... What's his name? His name's Jack. Mm -hmm. He's named after his grandfather on my wife's side, Anna, Anna Ferris. She says hello, by the way. She's been on your show. Um, she, she, we named him after her father, Jack, and uh, he's just a ball of joy. He's terrific. He was born a little early. He was born nine weeks premature, so we spent a, a month in the um, intensive care unit with him. But he's totally healthy now. He's home. He's happy. He's started laughing. Good Thank for you, you so much. That's great. Oh, got it. It's, uh, yeah, and he's just, he is just so perfect, and I love him so much. Congratulations. Thank you. Now, uh, I saw this movie, Zero Dark Thirty, uh, yes, the sir. other night. Uh, I, I don't know what to say. Uh, first of all, let me ask you this. How, as, as an historical document, how uh, close to the actual occurrence is this? Detail to detail. Is it 80%, 90%, 60%? What do you think? I think, it's, I think it's very close. I mean, I can't give you an exact percentage. I mean, I wasn't there, but it is based on first... Uh, <laughs> no, you know, based they, on wait first... Wait you're saying that they didn't send you in? <laughs> you didn't go in with the seal. I know. <laughs> <laughs> That's the part where oh, I'm not supposed to say that. I blew it. And you call yourself an actor. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's very close. It, we, you know, uh, we, uh, it was written by Mark Bull, who's a renowned uh, investigative type of journalist. I don't know what you'd call him. He, he, he's a journalist. He's not a screenwriter. He's a journalist. Mm -hmm. Well, he's written a movie now, so he's a screenwriter. But... He went in there, and, he, and it's all based on first-hand accounts, so I think it's very accurate. Well, it's a tremendous... Uh, uh, boy, it's just... Uh, and, and like everybody says, well, we kind of understand what happens at the end, but still, it's as though we are really right there. And, and, and what a lovely surprise to see you uh, in the end of the, the actual assault, the raid on the compound there. Did you... Uh, what were your feelings about making this movie? And Catherine Bigelow, what, what is she like? Oh, man. 
Catherine's a sweetheart. She's great. Um, you always. I think I, she's wacky. Is she a little wacky? <laughs> a little wacky? Yeah. I think everyone in showbiz is a little wacky. Well, yeah. Right? I have to give you that. <laughs> <laughs> I think she's great. She's really great. It, it was chaotic. The experience was chaotic. We filmed in the Middle East, and uh, and she just stayed very calm. And and if anything, uh, you know, you have to really reserve judgment f for how how. A director is until you see the film. Sure. I think yeah. you never know. They could be the nicest person in the world, but just be totally blowing it. But yeah. she is the nicest person in the world and didn't blow it. Well, she yeah, the, and, 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 and the the, uh, the earlier film, the uh, the the Hurt Locker, yes, sir, a tremendous. And and I think that this one is is a better effort than the Hurt Locker, if you can say that. And wow, thanks. Did. I yeah, I, your endorsement means the world. Means nothing. Let's face it. it <laughs> I I ought to be working at Bubba Gump. <laughs> This is, this is such a, um, a complicated circumstance. Uh, nonetheless, when we heard the news that the guy had been gunned down, we felt better uh, as Americans. We felt like finally somebody is paying the price for, for the war that they launched on us. What, what does it feel like to be in that movie? How does it make you feel? Uh, you see you have your American flag there. So you, yep. yeah, it, it must make you feel, uh, to be in such a positive account of this, it must make you feel pretty good, huh? Yeah, for from a lot of diff for a lot of different reasons. I mean, uh, just to be working as an actor to mm -hmm. right off the bat is pretty right. great. Um, but uh, to be in any movie already, I feel pretty good. Right. Um, but for now, people, people are com are comparing this to Cursed One and Two. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it feels about that good. Yeah.